whatsoever the hallway still isn't done we had a leak when we first moved in the wallpaper from the ceiling is like ruined it needs ripping off all that kind of stuff so i would my favorite place in the house to decorate will be the hallway when it's done and my dining room is like my second place um just because i feel like the entrance of the house at christmas time is a really nice feeling so i can't wait to be able to do that and do like the garland on the stairs and all that kind of stuff but for now, my favourite place at the moment to decorate is my dining room and I just love it. I ha This is the only room in the house that I've actually gone a little bit, extra not extravagant in, I've decorated a little bit more than I have. The living room, the living room just has some tarting, like froze, pillows, a nutcracker, a couple of ornaments. And then the Christmas tree is like the statement piece in the living room and I think that's how it should be generally. Um, I remember my mum's Christmas tree, my grand's Christmas tree, like full of tinsel and just tinsel all over the roof and stuff. And that looks amazing, but it's not for me. Um, then we've added one thing in the kitchen, which is just a hot chocolate station for Isabel. So it's simply really not that much. And then upstairs in Isabel's room, she is the only room that has been decorated because it's her room, she has a Christmas tree and all that which I'll share with you as well because we've also, since we got back from our mini moon, decorated that. But I filmed my decorating the tree at the end of November because we were going away at the start of December and I just haven't posted anything because the lights had gone low by then and then we was like doing packing and all that kind of stuff for the holidays so I didn't get around to actually filming the house and I wanted it a little bit brighter outside and it was quite dull and then when we got back it was snowing so it's still a little bit dull outside because of the snow but now it's just quite bright outside so I thought today would be the day to film this video. I was going to film it yesterday as well as off poorly because there's a big flu going around. I had it just after went to our spa at the weekend on Saturday. It was really lovely. We went to Ruby Hall and it was amazing. And because there was snow about I think it makes it a lot better when you're doing like an outdoor spa experience. Really lovely. Really recommend it. It was gorgeous. Um, but I do think spas outside like hot saunas and stuff are I recommend doing them in the winter time when it's a little bit colder. I feel you get the full benefit from it then. But nonetheless, it was really beautiful. I loved it. Um, so yeah, then we came home. I was ill. I think the sauna brought out some illness in me. So I didn't film anything over the weekend. Isabel was ill on the Monday. She's got a bit of a cough now still. But um, there's nothing new with Isabel. Whenever the season changes, she gets a new cough. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you our decorations. I'm very happy with them. I think as time goes on, I will change certain decorations in the house and swap them out for something a little bit pricier, but looks like it will last many more years. Anyway, I'm gonna share with you what our Christmas decorations are like in the house. The table has to be my favorite bit of the house because I feel like it's most lively in here and I just love seeing it when it's all lit up. So we have this beautiful garland on this table as well that has these beautiful big thick berries on here i think i got this gallon from the range maybe or tk maxx i'm not sure but you can always get a really nice gallon for somewhere it wasn't expensive this i think it's about 20 pounds or something then also on here it has these beautiful dew drops as well which matches my christmas tree because it has some dew drops on there and then these really big beautiful pine cones as well that i'm in love with then we also have a little fox here as well. I absolutely love this fox. We got this from one of the local fair craft stall things that we saw. And this was on there and we just love him. He's so cute. I do want to get some polar bears if I could possibly get them for next year as well. Like white ones to dot around the table as well. But I do really want some more animals. I think it adds to the festivities. 
Then this little thing here, my mum got me last Christmas and it just had chocolates in and I've done the same this year and added some chocolates inside here as well. Then we have these beautiful candles that I've shown you before that are just beautiful, I love them and they flicker so perfectly and I've just dotted them around everywhere. It just gives a perfect ambience in here. Placemats, I got these from Ikea and they have this beautiful diamond effect on here which I absolutely love. It screams Christmas to me and I just absolutely adore them. But they are my favourite things. They were quite bent up after I'd had them in the box from last year but I just straightened them out and they were perfectly fine. These will probably go to the kids once I get my fabric ones next year but nonetheless they look really pretty. I'd also really love a table um, cloth on here as well, but I'm being very picky about the one I want. And then, if you can tell already, I'm going for the reds and the green vibes. So, um, this tartan ribbon matches everything in the house at the moment because I have tartan on my Christmas tree and I have tartan on one of my garlands as well. So, I just think it's perfect. So, I've added them on here, which I think looks really cute. And I think it just complements the green especially. These are both from Amazon. So these were a pack of 12 or 24. I got quite a few of these green linen um, napkins. And then these plates I also got from Ikea. And then these beautiful scalloped plates I also got from Ikea. These were good. I got them like a long time ago. So I have no idea if they still do them. But I think once they're laid up, they look so pretty together. So I had them. I also have some really nice glassware over here in my little drink section but i'm not gonna bring them out because we still do homework and stuff on the table then we have this beautiful light i did get this from my mom she has like a stall on the markets and she gave me two of them but one of them broke which wasn't too bad because it was a silver one anyway and this is more of a gold color and if you can tell it has the most beautiful little speckled cracked glass effect it just has fairy lights inside but it just looks so pretty on the table i don't know where i'm going to put it afterwards if i'll leave it on the table or if it'll go in like a bathroom upstairs once they're done but i love them and it's just battery operated which is perfect so there's no wires then we have my trusty house over here this house i've had for many years now you just put a tea light inside and then i've also added those very dainty christmas trees to the table but that is my table then we've decorated my fireplace over there as well. Created my fireplace with just the tiniest of bit of foliage and berries and candles and fairy lights and I think it looks very pretty. We have these dried oranges on the fireplace as well and some little pine cones and we also have some more candles and foliage. These you may have seen in my Halloween decor um, but I've added them in there because they're beautiful red and they fit perfectly. And also on here, as I've done the Christmas tree, I've added this beautiful red velvet to each of the stems. So it looks like on there and I think it looks really pretty. And then we've just got the fairy lights, some more candles and the dog stocking, which actually has some balls left over from last year because it was too small for his mouth. Um, I thought he'd choke on them and then mine and Richard's stockings out of the attic. Well, when Richard got out of the attic, I... I don't remember ever having it so yeah we have this calendar which is that we bought like at the end of Christmas and then with the ribbon again I've just had it held it loosely. Now we're going to look at my Christmas tree and see what I've done in the living room. I haven't done much in there there's just the odd few bits and even the Christmas tree isn't that full which I like because then I can add to it year after year but I'm going to show you in there then I'll take it upstairs and show you Isabel's bedroom because hers is super cute as well. So this is the living room. Like I said, there's not much going on in here. We did have a massive rug, but I thought I was super clever by hauling it outside and washing it and then realizing that it was too heavy to hang up and didn't dry and then smelt and then we couldn't use it again. So it would have looked super cozy in here if we did have the rug as well, but we need to get a new one eventually. But I've just got a couple of throws about my hot water bottle because I don't know about you, but I'm frozen all the time. And then over here we have just a couple of candles these ones need some new batteries. My little cozy couch never stays this neat um, but this is my favourite nutcracker pillow and I've been dying to find something very similar as well back in TK Maxx or HomeSense but I haven't seen anything with this kind of pattern. I want this kind of vintage looking um, design but it's so hard to find. You would have seen maybe 
if you follow me on TikTok that I have this beautiful chest which is going to be Isabelle's Christmas Eve box which I will probably do a video on soon of what I'm putting inside a Christmas Eve box. I have on TikTok if you haven't seen. I'm just under Miss Chelsea Rosenfall. I think that's what it's under. Um, but yeah, love this. I got this off my mum. She also has a bigger one which I may still because she's just had it tucked away upstairs. Um, so that's that. And then this is my Christmas tree. She's looking very pretty. That's as best we're gonna get for being able to see the baubles on the tree, but I just love it. Like I said, I've also put the tartan ribbon running through it, so I've kind of like bunched it in each one so that it scallops outwards a little bit, which I think looks really pretty. I may add some more next year as well. And then we've also had this beautiful velvet red ribbon running through. And like I said, we have little dew drops on the end of the Christmas tree as well, which I think is so cute. Then some of my favorite baubles, I love this one. Um, it's a beautiful brown one. I love that tone. We have some of my navy baubles as well. A little bit of sparkle on the Christmas tree. I also have these really cute robins that my dog is fascinated with one at the bottom of the tree. Um, as you can see, he's a little bit skew -if at the moment. But he loves these little red ribbon, red robins. Um, he's just absolutely fascinated by them. We also have some of these little sequined hats some rather large glass bulbs which actually are from B&M surprisingly they look so expensive and so um pretty at the same time they just glisten perfectly on the Christmas tree so yeah they're mainly most of my baubles this has to be my favorite bauble of all time though and they have these beautiful little diamante stars they're kind of like a clear frosted black glass if that's any way to describe them then I also have some purple baubles here which are so pretty but yeah that is my Christmas tree I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, we don't have many more decorations. We have this that was in Isabel's room, actually. It needs to go back upstairs. We have this super cute house. And inside it's got a little family putting up their decorations. Little bears inside there. But yeah, other than that, we don't have much. There's a nutcracker down there. So this is Isabel's bedroom and it's just so cute. We actually had a little Christmas pumpkin out the other night so we have like extra candy canes that I brought out for that but they'll stay in her room now. And then we also have her advent calendar that I made. This was just one from Hobbycraft that I got and I painted it white. It doesn't look the best yet but next year I'll probably decorate it to look a little bit prettier. Her shack has a little elf hat on these little candy canes that are blow up helium ones i got from my mum and dad this is isabel's stocking i'm gonna say b and i got this from last year or home bargains but i don't know but i love it it's one of my favorites but she has that in her room i've also added some ribbons and these really cute snowflakes that were left over from one of her birthday parties and i thought they fit the christmas theme we got this when we went and picked up the little fox downstairs. It's a beautiful wreath that I absolutely love and I've just popped that on the end of her bed. Then this is her little makeup desk. This light also turns on so it looks super pretty and she has a couple of these. We've also got this really cute mouse in here that I adore. We got this from Home Sense and then we also got this gong I think from Home Sense. We then picked up this little lollipop and we got this from Bent Scan Centre. It was like eight pounds with lollipop, but it is quite big. Then we just have some fairy lights and then I had these in the tree, I think last year downstairs, but I've just popped them on top of a mirror this year. They're like snowy leaves. And then over here we have just some paper garlands, again from one of her frozen birthday parties that I've had left over. Some blow up candy canes that we got last year when the elves came to visit. Then we have these paper trees that I have dotted about the house. And then this is a little penguin house. It does light up and it has a beautiful ceiling to it. And little penguins in here which is so cute and a polar bear and it lights up it's like a broken bauble which is really cute and the main thing in her room is her christmas tree she loves this and she loves decorating it it has some of the most beautiful baubles on here we have these baubles that have the most beautiful pearls on them i absolutely love these and then obviously we have a couple of tiny gonks we also have these really cute little mouse decorations this various tulip skirt i like to call it 
unicorns. These we also got from Bent's Garden Centre, the little gingerbread men um, sticks that you just stick in the tree or wherever. And yes, she just has the most beautiful decorations. This is one of my favourites. It's a beautiful little glitter bauble. She did have a hand painted one, but it's smashed in the box. Um, but yeah, that's her Christmas tree. So I hope you enjoyed all the decorations that I've shown you. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration for your own decorations as well. These are my favourite videos to watch. Just people decorating their houses and seeing how they've decorated them. And just getting loads of inspiration for myself. Um, they're always the best videos I think at Christmas time to watch because it's just so much fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so hoping next year that our hallway is going to be done so I can bring some more festivities to different sections of the house. I'm just really just praying to God that we get it done and finished and we don't just keep putting everything off because that's what we seem to be doing, just putting everything off and saying, oh, we'll do it here, we'll do it after we're on holiday and we'll do it after Christmas and, you know. Um, so hopefully we get that done. Yeah, I'm just very excited for Christmas now. Isabel actually finishes school in six days, I think which seems like Christmas has come around so quickly and I think everybody says this every single year but I really think this year it's gone around, come around so quickly. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for Christmas. Today I'm actually gonna wrap presents because Isabel was ill yesterday with a cough and she was off school, which means that we have maybe two days left so she's maybe more ill than she already is at the moment. Um, she seems to get ill every time the season change or the weather changes and she's just prone to getting so many coughs and so many bad ones at that. And sometimes it takes like four weeks to get rid of them and the doctors will not give her anything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to prepare myself and start wrapping the presents so that I've got them all done and I don't have to stress about her maybe like having a little peek at them when I'm wrapping them up. And so I'm going to get that done in a second, maybe wrap some of Richard's family's presents as well because he doesn't seem to know how to wrap presents um, and I do it every single year for him so I'm going to do that I think but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it I'll give you some kind of inspiration um, and I hope to see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching bye